All right, boys, on our way to get a, another DMT. This is a special one. I can't wait to show you this one. It is a custom color. It's got some special bling bling on it. Look at this. The old man's working away. What's up? What up? And uh, we are about, I don't know, an hour from Belmont, and we're gonna go pick this thing up. And I'm actually, I should say I, we, are taking it up to Connecticut tonight to deliver it to a customer because he paid us to, to come up and deliver it for him. And we're also gonna do a bunch of training for him and all his guys, it's a really big company. And uh, and then on the way out, we're gonna talk to another customer and do another training session with them uh, out in Connecticut, some, somewhere out there. But um, yeah, come with us. We're gonna go check out this trailer. This thing's pretty much one of one, uh, one of a kind, one off deal. And uh, it's really, really cool. But it's getting late in the day, so we got a lot of miles to knock out here. It's going to be about eight hours on the road, so um, we won't waste your time with that. But without further ado, let's get into it. Got you green. Jeez. How'd I do? Eh, it's not that great. Eh, I could have done better. Let her down. Let's see the easiest way to hook up a trailer. Do it. Uh, ding ding. Wrong one. Go down. Gotta go to dump. Or go to go down. It is down. Okay. There you go. Take two. Ha. Ah. Bada bing. Bada boom. So, this trailer is not fully decked out, but it's got like a lot of the really nice upgrades to it. So, hydraulic jack, that's a must. And those chains are gold, that's different. I don't know what's up with that. Um, got the really nice 78 inch front platform. This is gonna hold two top dressers or a top dresser and aerator or a cart made on a mower, whatever. And the cool thing is these arms, I don't know if you know this or not, but these arms actually, this whole thing comes out. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Oh God, I don't know if I can do it. There we go. So now that comes all the way out to the legal limit of 102 inches. And then you can also drop it all the way down, I'm trying to do all this one-handed. And then that actually now acts as a step so you can plop your big old butt right on up there. So that's pretty sweet. They got the cone holder on this guy. Now this one, this is different. This has the 20,000 pound axles and the aluminum upgrade. Holy cow, look how big. Look how big this is. My hands are, that's 10 inches, right? Hold on, there you go. That's 10 inches. It, that's silly. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even understand. So, the mulch made on the back, of course, this thing is, this thing's killer. Oh, look at that, the ladder's not latched, so the ladder, has this really cool little lock right there. So all you do is push it in, and then the gravity just pushes it straight down, as you can see right there. Got the backup camera. Of course, every mulch mate has that. That's where you put your license plate. But this is the Gen 9 mulch mates. Uh, we're actually getting ready to take this thing up to Connecticut, like I told you earlier in the video. Uh, really love making sure we take care of our customers. It's customer support is number one. That is literally what we're all about. Um, these are machines. These are trailers. They all They all break right like that's just that happens um, But the mulch mate man, we're all about support. We're all about Making sure things are great. So like even like these stickers. We have a part number right there on every single decal Let me show you right there. Right? There's a QR code for our free online training 
If you guys don't even have a Multimate, you can go online and get free online training here. Any kind of troubleshooting, you got a QR code right there. You have all your instructions here on how to run it in English and in Spanish. I mean, even where you hook a carabiner. So this whole machine swings open via these latches you see here and here, right? And we can swing it around. This tells you where to hook it, which is a little triangle right up inside there, which is awesome. And of course you got the chute where all the money comes out, right? That's just money, money making machine. You also have a place here to lock the unit and then you can put the lock right there. That allows you to, when you take your lock out, let's say, instead of guys putting it in their pocket, I hate that, it gives them a place to put it and you just open the whole unit right there. Really, really simple and easy. And then if you're, if you put a lock here and you're really paranoid, you can put another lock there and you can also put another lock there. It's, I mean, the system's just fantastic. Um, a lot of guys ask what this is. This is actually a, the rod holder that holds the door. See this door right here? You can see, I'm kind of close because this trailer's right all up my butt, but that door right there is awesome. And that rod hooks right here. So this guy here, actually, you see the spring. This whole thing lifts up, comes out like so, and then this hooks on that guy right there. And then when you're done, which you're, I just kind of did that without showing you, when you're done, you just kind of hit it and it just falls right into place. It's completely out of the way. Also mud flaps on the back here, massive steel fenders right there. You got your 20K axle. I mean, these things are like freight liner wheels, man. They're just nuts. Of course, you can lock your door on the side here. I'll show you what's in here. So just like any kind of trailer door, there is the inside of your DMT trailer, looking fresh. Got your augers in there, you got your UHMW. This is this is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Yes, the gaps are there on purpose. Yes, it only bolts in the front, as you can see there. That allows you to be able to clean around this stuff, like say in the back here. You just kind of get in there, clean it all out. <clears throat> That's beautiful, and you got your tarping system right up there. Matter of fact, you want to you hear the truth? There's actually supposed to be a um, two inch spring clamp right there and there, and it's not there. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, the holes are there, but they're not, they must have forgotten. So we'll have to take care of that. All right. And then of course you got like a handle here. So when you, when you go to climb up with this ladder, the ladder pulls up right there. So when you go to get up inside of here, you got a nice place to put your hand and then you can go ahead and close it. My one-handed fingers can do it. There we go. Nice and easy. Ladder is out of the way. Look at that spare tire. I mean, that's just sick. What do you guys think? I want to know, do you think it's a smart idea to put a cover on the spare tire? Because I know that when I was running my landscape company, these tires actually would rot because they'd last a while. And in the sun, they would rot or they'd get like dirt on them or whatnot. So let me know what you think. Should I put cover? Should I make like a mulch mate cover you could put on this thing? I think that would look kind of cool. Other cool upgrades that we do, just bone stock from the factory. These rollers here used to be plastic. They're now uh, an aluminum because I noticed back in the day when I was a landscaper again, because I live in the real world, this cable would wear this upper roller out and they'd get cut in half and they would get destroyed. So that's a nice little upgrade. We also put... We also put uh, reflective tape here. So when this gate drops down, down over here, and you can see it on the other side too, we want people to make sure when it's out, there's actually a reflection off of those. And then you also have your latch mechanism here. So this actually holds both gates so one can't move. So that's really nice. You have the chains to hold all that together. And then you have massive springs down here, right? To keep all that nice and easy one-man operation here i'm gonna show you inside of this guy check this out look how sweet inside here looks so you've got you saw in the beginning of the video you saw the valve was on dump of course that's a dump trailer just like any other kind of dump trailer just ours is the best and the hydraulic jack which is the greatest thing ever if you buy a dmt without this you're crazy or any trailer honestly got your weight chart right there it shows you all the different materials see that of course you got your training qr code right down there all right also little dumb things that we do we actually add these little wire loops here because when you pull this out like so you can actually pick this whole thing you know these handles right here 
see it right there and you can pick this whole thing out and originally this wire was just kind of let me show you that wire was dangling everywhere and you'd have to like you needed a third hand to kind of keep it in place and i went to belmont and i was like please put a little wire loop thing here to keep it in place so guys don't have to keep messing with it so we designed this whole system be very simple very easy you've got your extra that's a backup anderson connector so if the battery that lives in this guy it actually is it's underneath there if that battery hey look check that out almost country um if that battery ever dies you can actually take this cable that cable plugs in right down here and that battery is going to the mulch mate back there so you can actually run the battery instead of running that cable from here to the truck to charge the mulch mate you can run it from here and plug it in there and if that battery ever dies then this jack doesn't work then you can steal power from the mulch mate and you can actually get yourself out of a bind and that's all standard standard stuff that comes with the dmt now and we also make this really nice power station here it so okay truth be told the reason that this is here is i'm gonna kind of bust some guys out here this plug falls out of the truck hits the ground gets all tore up and if you ever have a problem with a plug like the seven way or this anderson connector that's inside this toolbox here uh, or even the rca wire for the backup camera that's what this is here that right there if that ever gets damaged you can just simply replace this plug right here and not the entire wiring harness in the trailer or in the truck because this basically this station here is also in the truck i haven't installed it on this truck yet but it comes with the mulch mate so that's a truck charging harness kit is what we call it so if you ever damage this wire or the wire that plugs in down here or that wire there we simply just can sell you a new wire and it can be shipped to you overnight it's really super simple you plug it in and you go there's nothing that you have to do there's no kind of what wire goes where how do we splice this it it's a nightmare and not a lot of guys have the, the know-how that i have of all the years in racing and trucks and trailers i'm a car guy i am <laughs> the quintessential car guy i have an f450 i help design the trailers i design the mulch made it this is my world if you want to talk about football or basketball or baseball i'm out completely out but when it comes to mechanical stuff that's my world that's what i love and i've been doing it my entire life since i was a kid i mean i restored my first car and i'll put a picture in right here of a 64 and a half mustang when i was like 14 years old um and that's the car i learned to weld on and I, now i can I could take weld titanium if you wanted me to. So, lots of cool credentials. Anyway, back to the DMT. This DMT is beautiful. Here, let me get on the other side here. This thing is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys do too. Now, let me just explain something to you. How do you buy your own mulch mate? First, you go to mulchmateusa.com. I'll show you that link right here on the screen. Once you go to mulch mate, you're going to fill out a form submission and it's going to come directly to us and when you do that we will get in touch with you we'll get you whatever you look for do you want a mulch mate on a trailer on this dmt trailer you got it you want it on a switch and go body a hook lift body a container or just simply on your truck this exact unit right here will fit all of them every single one of them so 35 grand for the mulch mate trailer start at 17 grand uh i think the the SMC 11, which is the bodies that fit the switch and go hoist systems, I think they start at 10, I can't remember. Um, but you know what's what, like wheelbarrow racks on the back of the mulch mate, um, bolts right on, no fabrication necessary whatsoever, just uses the bolts that are already on it. Um, guys absolutely love that. And you're able to talk to a guy today, picked up his mulch mate last week, and fortunately, unfortunately, he had two guys that weren't worth a whole lot. They were more costing him money than saving him money and making his life easier and he said you know what guys go find a job elsewhere and he literally cut his crew in half and was able to get done two weeks worth of work in one week with the mulch mate on his smc 11 that he picked up on monday last week and he's crushing it really nice guy up in new jersey and it's absolutely fantastic what he's doing up there and he's able to to make more money and employ good employees not have these these people that really don't belong in the landscape industry 
they can go probably, they fit in somewhere else. Let's just say that, okay? Um, outside of that, guys, there's a lot of other efficiencies that we can share with you guys. I'm, I had a conversation uh, with a gentleman on the way up here. He's actually gonna be investing in some um, accelerator baggers. I'll show you a picture of that right here. That is a really nice bagger, and I own one, and I'm able to do my leaf cleanup jobs a lot faster with that, um, and I found just more efficient ways. And I'm just telling them these things that I've learned over the years, and it, it doesn't make me any money. So, with that all said, I hope you really like this. I'll give you a little bit of montage here of what this unit looks like, and we have to get to Connecticut, so I'll see you there. The next day. All right, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a nice sunny, here, let me show you. Nice sunny day. And yes, we just got done eating some Chick-fil-A. So yesterday, yesterday went bad. It, um, so the green trail I just showed you, it, okay, here's the truth to the whole story. We get there, we gotta pick it up, and we always do an inspection on the trailers. We always make sure that they're good to go. And unfortunately, I found three different issues with this trailer. Um, one of the stickers was wrong. I don't, even, I don't know who changed it, why they changed it. It was wrong. Not a bit. That's not a big deal. I can always send the customer a new sticker. The spring clamps that hold the tarp system in place, they were just missing. So I don't know how, I don't know how that got missed. And the big one was this trailer has the 20,000 pound axles like I was showing you and the right front hub was leaking somehow. Now, this is an easy thing for Belmont to miss because they can move it, park it, and then it starts to leak. Like They literally pulled out of their building and parked it for us to pick up. So it was like done within hours. So within that time period it sat, it was leaking for some reason. So good thing for us, we checked everything and we saw this like oil dripping down the rim and we were able to contact Belmont and say, hey, because this was after hours yesterday. This was yesterday. So the, the first part of this video was a day ago. Um, <clears throat> they said, yep, no problem. We'll get right on it tomorrow. Now today is tomorrow. And we will get it all fixed up, make sure it's perfect, hunky-dory. And basically, we're living Groundhog Day. And we're going to go back now. We just ate some lunch. Go back, grab this trailer, and we're off to Connecticut. So hope you guys follow along. And I'll show you the trailer in a much more beautiful day with a lot more light, and you'll see it. So... All right, let's get out of here. And we're back again. 24 hours later, we're picking up the DMT, heading to Connecticut, and let me show you what happened. So we, let me see here, what was it, what was it? Decal and, what was it? Oh, it was, the decals, oh, the spring clamps. That's what it was, that's what it was. Okay, so this black decal there, that was off, and meaning it was printed wrong. But this axle cover here, underneath this cover, it was leaking oil out of it, so they had to replace it. So that, and then we got these spring clamps. These are gonna go in just here in a second, and then we're gonna get down the road. So the whole point, the whole point of us leaving yesterday was we didn't want our customer to have to deal with the hassle of these little things that we had found when we got here. It was more important to us to, to delay everything a day, drive all the way back, get some sleep, come back to work, work half a day at our shop, then come up here to Belmont, pick the trail up, and drive another five, six hours to Connecticut, drop it off, do the training, so on and so forth. So, hi right, boys, let's get out of here. Look at that Just take take a second. Ooh, let me walk a little closer to get a little better view. And just take in all the beauty. Not just the truck, but the trailer. There's a trailer back there behind you. That's a dirty. Anyway, all right. Everything has been rectified on the DMT. The decal's fixed. The clamps are on. And the axle's ready to rock and roll. 20k axle with aluminum rim. Sweet. All right, we're gonna hit the road, and I'm not gonna drag this out. The next time you see me, we're gonna be about seven hours north of here in Connecticut. All right, let's roll. Driving. That'll be interesting. The longer distances before um, you know games consoles are invented, and then re books and stuff. Um, so for me though, the, the time I got totally passionate about driving properly was um, first time in a racing car.
boys, there it is. We have now dropped off the newest DMT uh, to Executive up here in Connecticut. What a beautiful, beautiful rig. And we just got done doing a full walk around of this unit and doing a full training. They also have two mulch mates uh, on trucks, on Duramag bodies, aluminum bodies like our demo truck. And um, when they did the install, they actually they skip a few steps and I've seen this before and I'm trying to um, figure out why guys skip these steps for some reason they just get in a hurry and uh we're actually going to go ahead and pull that rig in right behind this mulch mate we're going to compare the two i'm going to show them train them get them all fired up making sure they're they're working it but even with the mulch mates installed wrong it's still working great they still love it it's it's absolutely incredible and look at this they got their cart mate pro over there they got a snow mate over here they're all over the place, and they said they absolutely love everything that we've we've um, provided them. They think the mulch mate's killer. I think with this new trailer, I mean, look at them rims, baby. That's 20K axles. They are gonna just kill it with this unit. So the guy, Nick, the son of the owner here, doing a great job, really trying to automate things, make things a lot better. Um, they actually have a blower truck they're getting ready to sell because it just doesn't work real well for them. And they also have a mulch mule they're getting ready to get rid of too. And I think they're gonna buy a bunch more mulch mates. So guys, hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe it, and uh, subscribe it. Funny, uh, subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. But look at this yard. This is a real deal landscape company. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.